और विद्यार्थियों का हार्दिक दिल से अभिनंदन स्वागत आप सभी से अनुरोध है कि शिक्षाचार का पालन करते हुए इस दीक्षांत समारोह को भव्य और महान रूप दें आई रिक्वेस्ट एवरी वन टू प्लीज टेक योर सीट सुस्वागतम नमस्ते गीतांजलि यूनिवर्सिटी के पहले भव्य दीक्षांत समारोह पर पधारे अतिथिगण शिक्षकगण और विद्यार्थियों का हार्दिक दिल से मैं डॉक्टर उदीची कटारिया विथ माई टीम ऑफ डॉक्टर मीनन एंड डॉक्टर मेघा आप सभी का अभिनंदन और स्वागत करते हैं ऑन दी ओकेजन ऑफ दी फर्स्ट कॉन्विटेशन सेरेमनी ऑफ गीतांजलि यूनिवर्सिटी इट्स माई प्रिवलेज टू वेलकम दी डिस्टिंग्विश डिग्नेटरीज वी हैव विथ अस ऑन द डेस्ट ऑनरेबल चीफ गेस्ट Shri Om Birla, Speaker Lok Sabha, Honorable Guest of Honor Padam Shri Dr. Randeep Guleria, Ex-Director AIMS and Director Medical Education Medanta Global Healthcare, Shri J. P. Agarwal, Honorable Chancellor Gitanjali University, Dr. F. S. Mehta, Honorable Vice Chancellor Gitanjali University, Shri Kapil Agarwal, Vice Chairman Gitanjali Group. Shri Ankit Agarwal, Executive Director, Gitanjali Group. Shri Mayu Rawal, Registrar, Gitanjali University. May I now request our Registrar, Gitanjali University, Shri Mayu Rawal, to take the proceedings further, sir. No. Good morning, everybody. Honorable Chancellor, sir, may I request you to declare the convocation open? I declare the convocation open. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much, sir. The lighting of lamp symbolizes knowledge and wisdom. Now, as we pass into the aura of Gyan and Jyoti, wisdom and light, I request our chief guest. Guests of honor and other dignitaries, to please come forward for lamp lighting as we seek the blessings of Goddess Saraswati for knowledge and excellence. So please. <coughs> Group, Chief Kapil Agarwal, to welcome our honourable chief guest, 
ಶ್ರೀ ಓಂ ಬಿರ್ಲಾ ಸ್ಪೀಕರ್ ಲೋಕಸಭಾ ವಿಕ ಫ್ಲೋರಲ್ ಬುಕ್ Thank you, sir. And I request Executive Director Gitanjali Group, Sri Ankit Agarwal, to welcome Honorable Guest of Honor, Padan Sri Dr. Randeep Guleria, Ex-Director Ames Delhi, and Director Medical Education, Medanta Global Health Care Limited, with a global booking. We welcome you, sir. Thank you. I kindly request Honorable Vice Chancellor, Gitanjali University, Dr. F.S. Mehta, to welcome Sri J.P. Agarwal, Honorable Chancellor, Gitanjali University, with a floral bouquet. We welcome you. Thank you, sir. We welcome all our dignitaries and invitees. Our respected executive director, Gitanjali Group, Sri Ankit Agarwal, has been instrumental in leading constant colleges of our Gitanjali University to new heights. It's my distinct honor and privilege to invite him for the convocation welcome address. Sri Ankit Agarwal. Distinguished guests, Board of Management, Academic Council, dear graduates, faculty members, and parents, it's my honor to welcome our distinguished chief guest, Sri Om Bindaji, Honorable Speaker, Lok Sabha. Om Bindaji started his political career as an active member of the ABDP RSS at a very young age and rose to the post of Speaker in 2019 in a very short span of time. As a member of Vidhan Sabha, he was one of the most active members, asking more than 500 questions in 13th Rajasthan Legislative Assembly, and his name was included in Sadan Ke Sitare. Six times for participating in the debate in the House. A person with his famous addressing quote, Mananiya Sadasya, defines the simplicity and humility he lives in the flesh. Om Bilaji has always worked towards the development of his constituency and the welfare of the people. During his tenure as a speaker of the Lok Sabha, he has maintained the decorum and has played a crucial role in ensuring the smooth functioning of the parliament and facilitating productive debates. He always works towards strengthening the democratic process and upholding the principles of parliamentary democracy. His dedication and contribution to the field of politics His leadership skills and his commitment to public service have earned him respect and recognition among his peers and constituents. We at Gitanji welcome you, sir. We are also honored to have the presence of Padmushi, Dr. Randeep Gudiyaji. Dr. Randeep Gudiyaji is a top medical Indian pulmonologist and the ex-director of AIMS New Delhi. Currently working as a chairman in the Institute of Internal Medicine and Respiratory and Sleep Medicine. Director of Medical, Medical Education, Medanta Global Health Limited, Gurugram, and is well-known face in every household since Corona pandemic. He is credited with the establishment of India's first center for pulmonary medicine and sleep disorder at AIMS. He was honored by the government, government of India with Padma Shri in 2015, the fourth highest Indian civil award. He was an important member of India's COVID-19 response effort and was the advisor to the government of India for the same. He is the co-author of the book, Till the Evil, India's Fight Against COVID-19 Pandemic, which became the national bestseller within the first week of its release. Dr. Vindeep Kulireji is also a recipient of B.C. Roy Award and Raj Minda Pulmonary Disease Fellowship and many accolades in his name. His calm attitude, meticulous understanding of disease, and medical expertise have helped in shaping the policy of, on health care, safety measures, vaccination during the pandemic. Sir, it was a treat to watch you on TV during pandemic times. Your guidance to common public and health care professionals regarding the timely precaution has been highly appreciated. We welcome you, sir. 
I also welcome all the other distinguished guests, invitees from and around the city of Udaipur who have raised this occasion with their valuable presence. My warm welcome address is completely incomplete without welcoming the proud parents and families who have supported and believe in the graduates. We extend our deepest appreciation, your unwavering love, encouragement, and sacrifice being instrumental in their success. This joyous celebration is as much about you as about them, and we thank you for your constant support. Lastly, let us cherish this day as a milestone in our lives. May we continue to show to new heights fueled by the knowledge and experience gained within these walls. Once again, congratulations to the incredible graduates from PSEs of the year 2023, and a warm welcome to our distinguished guests, Sri Ji Ombala Jisab and Dr. Indeed Gulwedi. May this convocation be a memorable and inspiring moment for all. Thank you. Thank you, sir, for this warm and memorable welcome. Moving ahead, among the many talented and hardworking individuals in Gitanjali University, we have a special recognition of gold medal to bestow upon exceptional students, both undergraduates and postgraduates, for their academic excellence and education. May I now request our Honorable Chief Guest, Honorable Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor to bestow on gold medal recipients to our dear postgraduate students. If they wish, they can come forward. Students, please come on the stage as Dr. Meenal announces your name. Good morning everyone. Now may I call upon stage the recipients for gold medal, Dr. Neelam Chaudhary, MD, Anesthesiology for the year 2020. Dr. Karya Swati Jitendra Kumar, MD, Anesthesiology for the year 2021. Dr. Tarishi Khanna, MD Radio Diagnosis, year 2022. Dr. Shah Nihar Rakesh Bhai, MS Orthopedics, year 2019. Dr. Patel Saloni Bhagwan Bhai, MS Ophthalmology for year 2020. Dr. Archana Om Prakash Bulati, MS Ophthalmology for year 2022. Devashri Rathor, Faculty of Nursing, year 2013. Princey Babu, Faculty of Nursing, Year 2014. Botlal Vegar, Faculty of Nursing, Year 2015. Pankaj Kumavat, Faculty of Nursing, Year 2018. Priyanka Bhadravat, Faculty of Nursing, year 2018. Purvani Chandelya, Faculty of Nursing, year 2019. Neetu Maru, Faculty of Nursing, Year 2020. Jyoti Kumari, Faculty of Nursing, Year 2022. Preeti Gupta, Faculty of Pharmacy, Year 2022.
डॉक्टर माधवी शर्मा फैकल्टी ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी ईयर 2014 डॉक्टर हिमांशु शर्मा फैकल्टी ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी ईयर 2015 डॉक्टर गीतांजलि भटनागर फैकल्टी ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी ईयर 2018 डॉक्टर सोनी हितेश अश्विन भाई फैकल्टी ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी ईयर 2021 एंड डॉक्टर भानुशाली अश्विनी जेठालाल फैकल्टी ऑफ फिजियोथेरेपी ईयर 2022 thank you shri om birla ji for your blessings for our post graduates i request uh, sir please complete this cv students they are still there in the line come forward
I now request our honorable guest of honor, Dr. Randeep Guleria sir, to bestow on the gold medals to our dear undergraduate students. To announce the name, may I now call upon Dr. Medha. Very good morning. Now may I request Dr. Purva Maheshwari from MBBS for her gold medal in year 2021. I request Dr. Mumal Jain from MBBS for her gold medal in year 2022. Dr. I request Dr. Purva Maheshwari from MBBS year 2021 to receive her gold medal. Yes. Dr. Mumal Jain from MBBS for year 2023. Dr. Dhwani Katoria from BBS for year 2020. I request Dr. Harshita Shekhawar from BBS. for the year 2020 i request dr harshita shekhawar from bbs for year 2021 now may i request mr ravind kumar lohar from bsc nursing for the year 2015 I request Mr. Akash Toni from BSC Nursing for year 2016. I request Mr. Bhuvan Singh Chauhan from BSC Nursing for year 2018. Mr. Shubham Khandelwal from BSC Nursing for year 2020. Ms. Geeta Kumari Damiti for BSc Nursing for year 2022. Ms. Payal Chaturvedi from PB BSc Nursing for year 2018. Mr. Arjun from PB BSc Nursing for year 2019. Mr. Rahul Kumar Jange. from PBBSC nursing for year 2020 Ms Jyoti Vishwas from PBBSC nursing for year Kumari Lohar from B Farm 2022 I request our audience to have a round of applause for all the gold medalists Keep clapping for our gold medalists next is Dr Priyanka Priyanka Joshi from BPT for the year 2016 Dr. Vidhi Gupta from BPT for year 
Dr. Sibran Kaur from BPT for the year 2019. Dr. Shivraj Singh Rao from BPT for the year 2020. Dr. Ritika Golcha from BPT for the year 2021. Dr. Deepa Joshi from BPT for the year Thank you, sir. I request you all to please kindly take your seats. Can we have a common huge round of applause for all the gold gold medal CB and Ruby? Little louder. Thank you. We now move forward to award the degree of honoris causa emeritus professor. B. R. Gitanjali University confer honorary degree of honoris causa emeritus professor. for eminent professors who have proven their expertise scholarship and overall contribution in making a world a better place and a healthier place this year we present this honor to dr a k gupta dr sunanda gupta and dr abbas ali saiki i with pride request our honorable vice chancellor to please come forward to read the citation and present dr a k gupta to honorable chancellor i also request dr a k gupta to please come on the stage <coughs> dr gupta has a very long illustrious career as an academician and is able as an able administrator and was the first principal of the vitali medical college in hospital 
His contributions to otorhinolaryngology have been nothing short of remarkable, and his impact on the medical community and patients alike is truly commendable. He is the first and only ENT surgeon from Rajasthan to be awarded the Fellowship of the Academy of Medical Sciences India. In the span of 50 years, as a renowned clinician and academician, he has delivered many prestigious orations, has been a speaker at many national and state conferences, published more than 50 scientific articles and chapters in textbooks. Beyond his academic and administrative accomplishments, compassion and empathy for his patients have not gone unnoticed. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Kidani University of Udaipur, I request, Honorable Chancellor, that you may be pleased to graciously confer upon Dr. E. Gupta the degree of honoris causa, Emeritus Professor, for his outstanding contributions in the field of autorhinolaryngology. I, I confer on Dr. S. Gupta the degree of honoris causa, uh, Emeritus Professor in ENT for his exemplary contribution in the field of ENT. Thank you so much, sir. We congratulate you. I request our, I request our Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. F. S. Mehta, to read the citation of Dr. Sunanda Gupta and present her to Honorable <coughs> Chancellor for Honoris Causa. I also request Dr. Sunanda Gupta to please come on the stage. Dr. Sunanda Gupta has an illustrious career of 45 years in various medical colleges in Rajasthan. She is admired and appreciated for the incredible work done in the field of anesthesiology. She is first PhD in anesthesia in Rajasthan and is the author and editor of the first textbook on obstetric anesthesia in India and has published more than 140 research papers. With her untiring efforts, she founded the Association of Obstetric Anesthesiologists in India and continues as its founder president. Dr. Gupta's dedication, expertise, and contributions to the critical area of medicine have made a profound impact on countless lives. Also, her commitment to nurturing the next generation of anesthesiologists has undoubtedly shaped the future of the medical community. Dr. Sunanda has many awards and auditions in her name and is the visiting professor at Harvard University, Boston, USA. As for his examiner for MD anesthesiology at the University of Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur, and guest faculty at many international conferences. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Vice Chancellor of Bhutan University of Udaipur, I request Honorable Chancellor that you may be pleased to graciously confer upon Dr. Sunanda Gupta the degree of honoris causa emeritus professor for her contribution in the field of anesthesiology. I confer on Dr. Sunanda Gupta the degree of honoris causa emeritus Professor in the anesthesiology for her exemplary contribution in this field. Thank you, sir. Thank you, ma'am. You may please take your seats. Gitanjali University also conferred the honoris causa emeritus professor to Dr. Abbas Ali Saifi for his contributions to the field of neurology. Dr. Saifi could not join us today as he is abroad. His contributions extend far beyond the classroom. He is clinician par excellence with an exceptional achievement and profound respect he garnered among peers and his students. He has made a lasting impact on the field and influenced countless lives. We congratulate you, sir. Moving ahead, 
Gitanjali University proudly recognize the accomplishments of our doctoral graduates for their perseverance, dedication, and intellectual curiosity. They have pushed the boundaries of the knowledge in their respective fields through rigorous study and research. May I now request respected Dean PG, Dr. Sangeeta Gupta, to present PhD students to Honorable Vice Chancellor, Dr. Sangeeta Gupta. I also request all the PG to PhD students to please rise from your seat. Sir, I present to you the candidate for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Medicine, Nursing, Physiotherapy from Gitanjali University, who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Chancellor of the Gitanjali University of Udaipur, I admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Medicine, Nursing and Physiotherapy. And I, I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action and conversation, you prove yourself worthy of the same. Thank you, sir. I request all the candidates to please come on the stage and receive your award. For the same, I request our Honorable Chancellor, Honorable Vice Chancellor with the dignitaries to please come forward and give away the PhD degrees, doctoral degrees. Dr. Ashini would announce the names for the PhD students. Now, I would like to call upon the scholars. Dr. Chanchal Srivastava for the doctoral degree in Medical Physiology 2016. Dr. Charu Taneja for the doctoral degree in Medical Anatomy 2016. Dr. Sandeep Kumar K for the doctoral degree in Medical Pharmacology 2016. Dr. Sanjeev Kumar for the doctoral degree in Medical Microbiology 2016. Dr. Suman Sharma for the doctoral degree in Medical Physiology 2016. Dr. Megha Sharma for the doctoral degree in Medical Microbiology 2021. Dr. Raj Kumar for doctoral degree in Medical Anatomy 2019. Dr. Ishan Kalavatiya for the doctoral degree in Medical Physiology 2022. Dr. Minakshi Masai for the doctoral degree in Nursing 2017. Dr. Rajkamal Jain for doctoral degree in nursing 2017. Dr. Sumal C. Adran, doctoral degree nursing 2017. Dr. Vijayamba Ajmera for the doctoral degree in nursing 2017. Dr. Yogeshwar Puri Goswami, Doctoral Degree, Nursing 2017. Dr. Radhisha Minaria, Doctoral Degree, Nursing 2023. Dr. Kumar, Doctoral Degree in Physiotherapy 2020. 
डॉक्टर वीरूपक्ष महापौर डॉक्टर जगदीप फिजियोथेरापी 2019 डॉक्टर सचिन अग्रवाल डॉक्टर डिग्री फिजियोथेरेपी 2020 थैंक यू सर Thank you so much. Can you have a huge round of applause for these PhD recipients? Gitanjali University's postgraduate program to provide our graduates with unique opportunity for advanced learning, research, and professional development in their respective domains. While the knowledge and skill in our undergraduate programs lays the foundation for their future endeavors, we have the recipients for the degree of MD, MS, MSc Nursing, M Pharm, MPT for postgraduates, and MBBS, BHA, BDS. B.Sc Nursing, B.Pharm, and B.P.T. degrees for our undergraduates this year. For the same, may I now request the Faculty of Medicine, Gitanjali Medical College and Hospital, Dr. D.C. Kumar, to please come forward and present his P.G. and U.G. students to Honorable Vice Chancellor for the Masters in Medicine and Surgery, M.B.S. and B.H.A. degree. Firstly, may I now request postgraduate students of G.M.C.H. Please rise from your seat. Postgraduate students, GMCH. Sir, I present you to you the candidates for the degree of MD, MS, MSc Medical, MSc Clinical Psychology, MBA from Gitanjali University, whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and have been qualified. For the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of your authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gitanjali University, Udaipur, I admit you all to the degree of MD, MS, MSc Medical, MSc Clinical Psychology, MBA Hospital Administration, and I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action, and conversation, you prove yourselves worthy of the same. Thank you. Undergraduate students of GMCH, please rise from your seat. Undergraduates, GMCH. Sir, I present you the candidates for the degree of MBBS and BHA from the Gitanjali University, whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and have been qualified. For the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gujarat University, Udaipur, I admit you all to the degree of MBBS and BHA, and I charge that you ever in your life, thought, action, and conversation, you prove yourselves worthy of the same. Thank you. Please go down and receive your degrees verbally. Thank you so much, sir. I now request Dean Faculty of Nursing, Gitanjali College and School of Nursing, Dr. Vijay M. Majmera, to please come forward and present your PG and UG students to Honorable Vice Chancellor for MSc Nursing and BSc Nursing degree. Postgraduate students of Gitanjali College of Nursing, please rise from your seat, ma'am. Sir, I present to you the candidates for the Master's degree of Nursing. From Gitanjali University, whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree, to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gitanjali University, Udaipur, I admit you all to the Master's degree of Nursing, and I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action, and conversation, you prove yourselves worthy of the same. Thank you.
undergraduate students, Gitanjali College of Nursing, please rise for your seat. Sir, I present to you the candidates for the degree of B.S.C. Nursing and Post-Basic B.S.C. Nursing from Gitanjali University whose names are settled in the list and who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gitanjali University of Dhapur, I admit you all to the degree of B.S.C. Nursing and P.B. B.S.C. Nursing and I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action and conversation, you prove yourself worthy of this thing. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you, ma'am. I now request Dean, Faculty of Pharmaceutical Sciences, Gitanji Institute of Pharmacy, Dr. M. S. Rathor, to please come forward and present your PG and UG students to Honorable Vice Chancellor for the M. Farm and B. Farm degree. Postgraduate students of GIT, please rise from your seat. Honorable Vice Chancellor, sir. Sir, I present to you the candidates for the Master's Degree of Pharmacy and Degree of Farm B post rate from Gitanjali University, whose names are set out in the list who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gitanjali University of Dhapur, I admit you all to the Master's Degree of Pharmacy and Degree of Farm B. And I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action, and conversation, you prove yourselves worthy of the same. Thank you. Thank you. Undergraduate students, GIT, please rise from your seat. Undergraduate students, GIT. Sir, I present to you the candidates for the bachelor's degree of pharmacy from Gitanjali University, whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gitanjali University of Dhapur, I admit you all to the Bachelor's Degree of Pharmacy and I charge you that you have in your life, thought, action and conversation to prove yourself to what you have to say. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And I request Dean Faculty of Physiotherapy, Gitanjali College of Physiotherapy, Dr. Pallav Bhattanagar, to please come forward and present his UG and PG students to Honorable Vice Chancellor for MPT and BPT degrees. Sir, I present Sir, to you the candidates Sir. for the Master's Degree of Physiotherapy from Gitanjali University whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. Are they standing? Yes, yes. Okay, uh, all right. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gitanjali University of Dhapur, I admit you all to the Master's Degree of Physiotherapy and charge you that ever in your life, thought, action, and conversation, you prove yourself what you have to say. Thank you. Undergraduate students, please rise from your seat. Physiotherapy. Sir, I present to you the candidates for the Bachelor's Degree of Physiotherapy from Gitanjali University, whose names are set out in the list, and who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Design University of Dhapur, I admit you all to the Bachelor's Degree of Physiotherapy and I charge that you ever in your life, thought, action and conversation, you prove yourself worthy of the same. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I now request the Faculty of Dentistry, Gitanji Dental and Research Institute, Dr. Nikhil Varma, to come forward and present your undergraduate students to Honorable Vice Chancellor for the BDS degree. Dear students, students, rise from your seat. Sir, I present to you the candidates for the degree of BDS from Gitanji University, whose names are set out in the list and who have been examined and have been qualified for the degree to which I pray that they may be admitted. By virtue of the authority vested in me as Vice Chancellor of Gitanji University of Dhapur, I admit you all to the degree of BDS and I charge you that ever in your life, thought, action and conversation, you prove yourself what you have to say. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. We appreciate our undergraduates and postgraduate students' efforts. Just have a huge round of applause for all the UG and PG sitting here. Thank you. 
on this momentous occasion, may I now request to have the honor to invite our Honorable Vice Chancellor of Gitanjali University, Dr. F. S. Mehta, to go to the podium and present the annual report of our esteemed university. Good morning, everybody. <coughs> Dignitaries on the dais, uh, invited guests, faculty of uh, Gitanjali University, graduating students, and parents. In the words of Rudolf Richter, medical education does not exist to provide students with a way of making a living, but to ensure the health of the community. Our chairman, Sri J.B. Agrawal Sahib, nearly 17 years ago, dreamt of serving the tribal community and with what, what better way than ensuring the health of the community. He had the comprehensive vision and unrelenting ambition and a willingness to walk through walls to lay the foundation of a medical institute which would evolve into a global center of excellence for lifelong learning. To enable this vision, this university has been at the forefront in seeking to foster the culture of intellectual and personal growth and lifelong learning among its students. We promote, recognize, and reward excellence in our teaching, learning, research, innovation, creative outputs, and patient service. Our students and faculty are empowered to fulfill their academic and professional passions in a university, university that is diverse, welcoming, and inclusive for all students, faculty, and staff. The university is spread over an area of around 50 acres amidst the verdant Arabi Hills and has a prolific and state-of-art infrastructure with all modern facilities. Under its flagship, all its constituent institutions are approved and recognized by the respective statutory councils such as NMC, BCI, PCI, IMC, etc. The university has enrolled around 8,000 students in different specialties till date. Out of which, 4,000 students have been awarded with graduate and postgraduate degrees. <clears throat> the high tech infrastructure at Gitanji includes a central library which is completely disguised and has more than 40,000 books in journals. A, a separate internet lab is equipped with Android tablets, e-books, and in general, and vital zones, which are easily accessible. Our skill lab has acquired state-of-art mannequins and sign readers, which has given a boost to the practical skill training for our students. This acoustically treated auditorium as you all can see, is well designed and equipped with advanced audiovisual setup and can accommodate 750 guests. Apart from this, the campus has many multi-choosing food courts, cafeteria, and central mass with a capacity of 500 seats. Small shopping complex, banking services, and amenities area within the campus, which makes itself sufficient, self-sufficient for the staff and students. <coughs> This university has a very robust mentorship and counseling program which aims to keep the parents well informed about their advanced academic progress in the institute. Our postgraduate students and PhD research scholars have been at the forefront of academic research and published their research in peer-reviewed journals of national and international review. Our students and faculty regularly attend conferences both at state, national and international levels and have won best paper awards and gold, gold medals for their path of research work. GMCH regularly, regularly organizes CMEs, national and state conferences, workshops and webinars which are widely attended and well appreciated. Recently, with the undaunting efforts of our faculty, 10 books and manuals have been published by JP and CBS Publishers. The university has conferred 38 PhD and 10 certificates in various specialties and streams of medicine and pedagogical courses. And at Federal, there are 343 cutting edge research projects going on in the university. <coughs> Our new sports complex boasts of a cricket ground along with a modern gymnasium to encourage the extracurricular curricular activities of our students. A swimming pool is further being added to the existing facilities for students. The university also organizes various cultural and sports competitions regularly and 
stellar events which have been widely acknowledged are the intercollegiate tournaments, Vitanjali Premier League and Vitanjali Badminton League. And organization is like an empty vessel without employees. GU acknowledges the worth of all its employees who are a valuable asset to the organization and the key to success of all its ventures. We have a strong force of approximately 3,000 employees in various capacities who have contributed hugely to the success of this industry. In, in recent years, the university has started BMMCH in super specialty courses like cardiology, neurology, nephrology, gastroenterology, oncology, medical oncology, neurosurgery, and neurology, along with yearly 169 PhD in tech, which are 152 in broad specialties and 70 in super specialty and 256 for a degree. To be distinguished, distinguished as a leader, one leader among medical institutions by providing exemplary medical education, higher training, quality research and innovations, GM Talks also provides safe patient care through community collaboration. The university has a 1410 bedded hospital along with the dental college and multi-specialty hospital equipped with 250 high-tech dental care and enabled with most modern state part equipment and laboratories. It is the only hospital in southern Rajasthan which provides air ambulance facility and is also active with NMDH and with NMDL. It is a well-equipped and dedicated cancer center with oncosurgery, radiotherapy, and palliative care services. GHCH is registered with organ transplant services and is fully equipped for renal and heart transplant. There are multiple seamless operating theaters, ultra-modern ICUs, and laboratories which provide efficient, trustworthy services by renowned specialists. Considering the services, the location of the GMCH being adjacent to the national highways with a high volume of vehicular traffic, we have one of the most modern medical trauma care centers with the most advanced equipment for uh, investigations like CT scan, 4D CT scan, 3 and 1.5 Tesla MRI, PET scan, and advanced lineal exploration, along with two cat labs for cardiac intervention and neural intervention procedures. It is also a stroke training hospital. It is also impregnant with all the state and central government schemes, including Ayushman Bharat, Mukhya Mantri Chirandari, Swast Bima Yojana, RGHA, CGHA, Rashi Bal Swastya Karikram, ECHS, ESIC, Janani Swastya Yojana, etc. and also associated with third party, third party assurance, various corporates and other government organizations and public sector undertakings. With the help of these schemes and their collaborations, the hospital ensures excellent healthcare to all state of society. Before I end, I would like to advise and address my dear neighbors with these words of which are very close to my heart. A patient is never a customer or consumer. Whatever the laws of the land may say. Every patient is a life with a beating heart and a thinking brain. And you are being trusted by that patient to keep that heart beating and brain thinking. That is your responsibility today and after a thousand years as a doctor. Don't ever be carried away by pride, anger or suffering because you are the only link between the patient and life. Every patient will not be kind to you, will shout some blame, some threaten and some few. Say about that plane of interaction and you do what you must for the good of that patient. If you feel you are not required, leave without either a harsh word or a bad feeling because more lives wait to be saved by you. Your time is far more precious. Overconfidence is the biggest risk for a doctor. Be the first soul that your patient meets. Even the most illiterate or rural patient will, will notice your words, manners and attitudes. These must always be perfect. My dear ones, enjoy every moment of the holiest path that you have chosen to tread upon earth. May God keep you protected and happy. And may each one of you save a million lives. Jai. Thank you.
Thank you so much, sir, for an ever-inspiring way to connect and guide our graduates. The exceptional leadership of our Honorable Chancellor has been pivotal in ensuring universities' continued growth and success. I, with distinct privilege, invite Shri J.P. Agarwalji to present his address and lead our graduates and post-graduates with the pledge. So please.
हमें केवल हॉस्पिटल के बारे में बताया उसके साथ ही संस्थान के एकेडमिक एक्टिविटीज के बारे में बताया मैं उन सब फैकल्टी मेंबर्स को नेशनल और स्टेट लेवल कॉन्फ्रेंसेस ऑर्गेनाइज करने पर बधाई देता हूं और आने वाले वर्षों में इन एक्टिविटीज को और अच्छे से बढ़ावा देने के लिए प्रोत्साहित करता हूं हमारे सभी इंस्टीट्यूशन में होने वाली रिसर्च एक्टिविटीज सराहनीय है लेकिन आप सभी मेरी इस बात से सहमत होंगे कि रिसर्च के फील्ड में हम अभी बहुत काम करना बाकी है मेरा आप सबसे सुझाव है कि हम क्वालिटी रिसर्च पर फोकस करें तथा तो हम इस पर नए माइलस्टोन स्थापित करें और सक्सेस को भी अचीव करें मेरे पीएचडी स्कॉलर्स पोस्ट ग्रेजुएट्स मेरे ग्रेजुएट स्टूडेंट्स आप जब अपनी डिग्री हाथों में थाम कर आप गर्विश महसूस कर रहे हैं मुझे यकीन है आज की पीढ़ी स्मार्ट इंटेलिजेंट एंड वर्कोलिक है मेरी आप सबसे आशा है कि आप सभी जिम्मेदार नागरिक बनेंगे ये स्टूडेंट्स आपके हाथों में ये डिग्री ये सिर्फ एक डिग्री नहीं है अभी तो ये एक प्रिविलेज है इसे आप दूसरों की पीड़ा दूर कर सकते हैं याद रखिए आपने अभी तक जो भी सीखा है अब उसे प्रैक्टिकल लाइफ में अप्लाई भी करके दिखाना है आप एक अच्छे हेल्थ केयर प्रोफेशनल के साथ साथ एक अच्छे इंसान बने मरीजों के साथ एम्पथी रखें और स्वयं के हित से पहले मरीजों के हित का ख्याल रखें हर मेडिकल प्रोफेशनल चाहे वो डॉक्टर हो या नर्स फार्मेसिस्ट फिजियोथेरेपिस्ट कोई भी हो उन्हें पढ़ाई और स्किल के साथ कम्युनिकेट स्किल्स का भी पूरा ध्यान रखना जरूरी है मैं आपसे एक बात और कहना चाह रहा हूं इस समय जब आपके सभी पेरेंट्स यहाँ मौजूद हैं आपने देखा होगा देखा होगा कि उन्होंने किस तरह संघर्ष करके आप लोगों के आपकी लाइफ को सुंदर बनाने का हर संभव किया प्रयास किया होगा हर संभव प्रयास किया ही है मेरा आप सबसे इस समय ये कहना है कि अब ये आपका टाइम है कि आप उनके इस प्यार इस संघर्ष इस बलिदान जो भी उन्होंने आपके लिए दिन रात 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 भर जाप कर जो भी किया उसके लिए आप अब आपका टाइम है डीके करने का तो आप हमेशा ये ध्यान रखें कि आप अपने पेरेंट्स का अच्छी तरह से ध्यान रखेंगे ये अब आपकी बारी है कि आप एक अच्छे नागरिक बनकर दिखाएं आपके व्यवहार व्यवहार ही आपकी पहचान हो हम सब एक लाइफ लॉन्ग लर्नर्स हैं और अपने नॉलेज की तिजोरी हमेशा बढ़ते रहें ये एक ऐसा दल है जिसे आप कोई आपसे कोई नहीं चीन सकता और जो बांटने से और बढ़ते जाता है डिग्री आपके लर्निंग रास का अंत नहीं बल्कि एक शुरुआत है इसे केवल हर प्रोफेशनल को ही नहीं बल्कि मैं ये कहूंगा कि हर व्यक्ति को हर समय कुछ न कुछ सीखते रहना चाहिए समय के साथ खुद को अपडेट रखने से ही लंबे समय तक कामयाबी हासिल कर सकते हैं करना पॉसिबल है ये आई वॉन्ट टू शेयर विथ यू माई लाइफ लेसन अगर आप मुझसे पूछेंगे मेरी सक्सेस का राज ये आप ये देखेंगे तो मैं हमेशा ही मेरे मिलने वालों को सभी लोगों को एक ही कहता रहता हूँ बी ट्रूथफुल टू यूर सेल्फ आप अपने आप से सच्चाई से बात करना सीखें जब आप अपने आप से सच्चाई से बात करेंगे तो कभी भी गलती नहीं होगी अलग तरीके से बात करने से अपने से गलत बात करने से वो तो आपके लाइफ के लिए एक सीख नहीं है जो आदमी अपने से सच से बात करेगा उसकी प्रोग्रेस निश्चित है आप डेफिनेटली इस चीज का ध्यान रखें और टाइम टू टाइम अपनी जो भी वीकनेसेस है कमजोरियां हैं उन पर फोकस करें ज्यादातर लोग ये करते हैं कि जो कमजोर उस पॉइंट पर छोड़ के दूसरे पर ज्यादा ध्यान रखते हैं लेकिन 
आप आइडेंटिफाई करें अपनी कमजोरियों को देखें वीकनेसेस को देखें उस पर अच्छे से परफॉर्म करें अच्छे से काम करेंगे तो उसके रिजल्ट आपको डेफिनेटली मिलेंगे अंत में मैं आप सबको बधाई देता हूं आशा करता हूं कि आप सभी अपने फील्ड में बहुत कामयाब होंगे ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू धन्यवाद माननीय चांसलर सर आपके दृष्टिकोण और मार्गदर्शन के लिए हम आपका धन्यवाद करते हैं आपके नेतृत्व से गीतांजलि यूनिवर्सिटी समर्पित संयमित एवं प्रेरित है आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट आर ऑनरेबल चांसलर टू प्लीज लीड आर स्टूडेंट्स टू प्लेज मे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट आर स्टूडेंट्स टू प्लीज राइज ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स ऑल द कैटेगरीज ऑल दैकल्टीज प्लीज राइज फ्रॉम योर सीट्स and get ready for the pledge keeping your right hand at the front so we we'll lead you to the pledge one word by word you have to repeat after him the pledge is on the screen to you so i say a hope word and we be ever honest in the Discharge of our duties and uphold the dignity and integrity, integrity of our profession and the honor and name of our university and our, our, our alma mater. I swear to serve to sit and elevate the saints. Under, under our cover, and all those who need our services to the best of our ability, without any consideration of caste, creed, or status. Thank you. Thank you so much, everyone. A huge round of applause for all of us. I pray that you stay with your words throughout your life. I take the privilege and pleasure to invite our distinguished guest of honor, Padam Shri Dr. Randeep Guleria, ex-director Ames Delhi, director Medanta Global Health Limited, to deliver the convocation keynote address. Sir, please. Thank you very much, Honourable Speaker, Lok Sabha Shri Om Birla Ji, Honourable Vice Chancellor Shri J P Agarwal Ji, Honourable Chancellor Shri J P Agarwal Ji, Honourable Vice Chancellor Dr F S Nayaka Ji, Vice Chairman Shri Kapil Agarwal, Executive Director Shri Ankit Agarwal, Sister Shri Mayu Agarwal, Students receiving the degree today, parents and other family members. Of Getting the degree, distinguished faculty members of the university, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Namaste and a very good afternoon to all of you. It's an absolute honour and privilege to be here today as a guest of honour at the convocation ceremony of the Kanji University. This is a momentous occasion, mark, marking the culmination of years of hard work, dedication and sacrifice. Congratulations to each and every one of you. For reaching this significant milestone in your journey, today we gather in this beautiful state of Rajasthan, known for its vibrant culture, rich heritage, and hospitable people. Rajasthan has a long-standing tradition of, of valuing the importance of education and healthcare, and it is in this context that I wish to address the medical professionals who are about to embark on their remarkable journey of service and healing. In many ways. This is going to mark a change in your life and in your career. To the parents and family here today, I congratulate you on raising such exceptional individuals. Your unwavering support, sacrifice, and encouragement have brought them to this moment. Today is a celebration of your love, your guidance, and belief in their potential. To the esteemed faculty members, thank you for your tireless dedication, mentorship, and for nurturing the minds that stand before us today. 
So contradictions have played an invaluable role in shaping these bright young minds and preparing them for the challenges that lie ahead. Nipanchi University has earned a well-deserved reputation for excellence in medical education, and it is a privilege to witness the remarkable talent that has emerged from these forms. I was here last year at, a, at the Medical University during our National Annual Test Conference, NAPCON, and we all witnessed and admired the excellent facilities and the exceptional hospitality that we got out here. So I would like to take this opportunity to congratulate the management for this, and I am very really grateful for that opportunity. As you students embark on the next chapter of your life, I would like to share a few thoughts and reflections with you. First and foremost, I urge you to remember the privilege that comes with being a healthcare professional. The opportunity to heal, alleviate suffering, and to improve the lives of individuals is just not a power, it's an immense responsibility. You are about to embark, embark on a noble path, one that is dedicated to the service of humanity. As you step into the medical field, always keep in mind that you have chosen a profession that embodies knowledge, compassion, integrity, and the relent relentless purpose of being. These values should be the guiding force in every decision that you take. Always keep patient care in your mind. Be humble. Remember, you are there for the patient. The patient is not there for you. It's very important to keep that in mind because as doctors and as we become more and more seniors, we think we are obliging the patient, but I don't think that is true. Also remember, medicine is not merely a science. Medicine is a science and an art. Now that the science of medicine has made huge progress, we've actually been through a huge revolution as far as the science of medicine is concerned. But the art of medicine is equally important. The empathy that you have, the care that you have with your patients, the connect that you will direct with your patients is as important as the science of medicine. And therefore medicine is a profound tapestry of knowledge, skill and compassion that weave together the physical emotional and spiritual aspect of healing, guiding individuals to a holistic well-being. So keep in mind, it's not only improving the well-being of, of your patients, but it's also improving the quality of life and the spiritual well-being. It's a sacred bond between the healer and the patient, built on trust, compassion, and the tireless pursuit of improving lives. As you read these hallowed halls of, the scheme, of this esteemed institution, Equipped with knowledge and skill, remember that, remember that you carry the sacred duty to uphold the highest standards of ethical practice and patient care. The power of empathy that you will have towards a patient can never be understand, underestimated. When a patient walks into your clinic, they don't just bring their ailments. They bring their fears, their hopes and their dreams. And health, as healthcare professional, it is your responsibility to listen, understand and provide holistic care that encompasses not only the physical aspect, but the emotional and the psychological aspect as well. Treat every patient with dignity, respect, and without any discrimination. Listen to their concerns. Involve them in decision-making and communicate effectively. William Osler said, the good physician treats the disease, the great physicians treat the patient who has the disease. Keep that in your mind. Remember that the path that you have chosen is not an easy one. It requires resilience, dedication and unwavering commitment to lifelong learning. Medicine is a field where every day is a school day. More so in today's ever-evolving world, the field of medicine is seeing rapid advancement transforming what we diagnose and treat and, pre and to treat and prevent diseases. New technologies, innovative therapies and groundbreaking research are revolutionizing healthcare. We are living through what is actually known as the fourth industrial revolution. We had the first industrial revolution, the second, the third. Now we're living through the fourth industrial revolution that is changing the practice of medicine. Artificial intelligence, internet of things with, wear, inter, internet of things with wearable and non-wearable devices, robotics, big data analysis, gene editing, CRISPR-Cas technology, and so many others are all becoming routine tools in the practice 
in the next generation of doctors and you the young bright students today are the next generation doctors that are going to be using these tools routinely and therefore i would really advise you to embrace every opportunity to expand your knowledge hone your skills and adapt the changing landscape of healthcare never cease to be a student for the continuous learning that we find is our greatest growth in many ways true learning starts now your fundamental has just been uh, established your ground uh, base has just been uh, established this is just your foundation whatever i learned as a student both during my md days my dm days or even my uh, md days is totally irrelevant today so it's something that i have had to learn after i passed out and that is because during my time when i was doing mbbs we had only the chest x ray or the x rays after that we had the ultrasound ct scan pet mri functional mri you have to learn all of that as medicine advances and i would say that you have even bigger challenges because medicine is moving at a much rapid pace today than it was 30 years ago in recent times our world has faced an unprecedented challenge in the form of covid-19 pandemic the pandemic reminded us of the resilience and dedication of our healthcare work professionals many of you may have already been on the front line risking your lives to save others i commend your courage and selflessness and i think because of what all of us did every citizen of this country india did remarkably well as covid-19 was concerned as you move forward let this experience be a constant reminder of the power and impact you have as healthcare professionals never understand the difference you can make in the lives of your patients their families and our society as a whole as you are aware health is a national building nation building strategy the students and scholars who have received the degrees award and prize today are india's investment capital for building a better future you are the elite the talents skill and knowledge needed to spearhead the improvement through india's healthcare system you are the leading light and much more you dear students belong to the fortunate few in the country who have had access to one of the best educational experience in the country and i cannot think of any better person to idolize than mahatma gandhi who values you should inculcate in life for service to humanity as you enter the next phase of your life moving ahead from being a student to a young responsible citizen on whom the the future of a great nation depends therefore i encourage you to be the catalyst of change seek innovative solutions to challenge the things that plague our healthcare system embrace research not just as a mean for academic pursuit but as a way to contribute to the collective knowledge of humanity i think what really makes institutions different are the pursuit of research and academic environment i have been fortunate to have trained and worked in institutes like pgi chandigarh the all institute of medical sciences delhi what makes these institutes different is the work culture which focuses more on on research academics and even as undergraduate students or postgraduate students you are actually pushed to do research projects and start writing research papers and i would really encourage you not only to do that but to be innovative and be inquisitive to challenge whatever you see and find better solutions for whatever you are able to see is a problem be advocate for those who cannot speak for themselves fight for equity in healthcare and strive to bridge the gaps that divide our society as you step out into the world as proud ambassadors of gitanjali university carry with you the values of this institution of integrity humility and commitment to service embrace diversity respecting different perspectives and cultivate an inclusive environment with every patient regardless of their background in this rapid changing a rapidly changing world it is essential to recognize the importance of teamwork and collaboration in many ways i think medicine is moving out of its silos and you have to look at not only interdepartmental collaboration but interinstitutional collaboration you you should be able to now see that how can i really foster an environment of collaborative work research and looking at uh, your colleagues as equals in this environment of collaboration 
Also, I encourage you to remember the significance of self-care. The medical profession can be demanding and challenging, both physically and emotionally. And as I as have seen in many institutes, we have a lot of students who have issues of burnout, of depression. Take care of yourself. Maintain a healthy work-life balance and seek support when needed. Remember, you cannot pour from an empty cup. And by pri prioritizing your well-being, you will be better equip equipped to serve others. As you go forth into the world as proud graduates of Gitanjali University, know that you have the power to make a difference. Each one of you has the potential to impact countless lives and shape the future of healthcare. Therefore, I urge you never to lose sight of your purpose, the reason why you chose this noble profession. Let your love for humanity be your guiding light and let your actions speak louder than words. Remember that your patients are not just, not just medical cases, they are human beings deserving of dignity, compassion and the best care you can provide. Mahatma Gandhi said that the best way to find yourself is to lose yourself in the service of others. Keep this as a mantra as you move forward. May you all go forth from this moment with confidence, compassion and a burning desire to heal the world. Congratulations and I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Jai Hind. Thank you, sir. We are truly honored to have had the opportunity to hear from such a distinguished and accomplished individual will certainly prove to be a catalyst to a change. Thank you once again. We are honored to have our esteemed chief guest, Sri Om Birlaji, Speaker Lok Sabha. Sir, I request you to present the convocation address to our graduates and invitees. So please. Gitanjali Vishwadhyale ke इस दिशांत समारोह के अंदर मैं आप सब का हार्दिक अभिनंदन करता हूं, स्वागत करता हूं। उदयपुर की यह धरती, मेवाड़ की यह धरती, सूर्य, सास, बलिदान, साविवान, त्याग की धरती है। और इसीलिए जब मेवाड़ का नाम आता है तो हम सबका सेत गर्व से ऊपर होता है आप सबका भी सौभाग्य है कि आपको इस धरती पर एक मेडिकल साइंस की शिक्षा दीक्षा प्राप्त करने का सौभाग्य प्राप्त हुआ है मुझे खुशी है कि आज हमारे बीच में एम्स के डायरेक्टर पदमश्री रणदीप गुलेरिया जी इस गीतांजलि विश्वविद्यालय का एक नन्ना सा पौधा लगाया जो आज वटपक्ष के रूप में हम सब की सेवा के लिए समर्पित है चांसस सी जेपी अग्रवाल जी वाइस चांसस सी एफ एस मेहता साहब कपिल अग्रवाल जी अंकित अग्रवाल जी मयूर जी हमारे सभी मान्य विधायकगण प्रतिष्ठित अतिथिगण इस विद्यालय के सभी प्रोफेसर डीन इस विद्यालय में पढ़ने वाले विद्यार्थियों के आए हुए परिवारजन विद्यार्थी साथियों गीतांजलि विश्वविद्यालय ने 2000 के बाद इस मेडिकल कॉलेज इस अस्पताल की शुरुआत की और आज ये विश्वविद्यालय ये मेडिकल कॉलेज एक प्रतिष्ठित 
मेडिकल कॉलेज के रूप में इसकी प्रतिष्ठा पूरे देश के अंदर है इस विश्वविद्यालय ने जब मेडिकल कॉलेज शुरू किया तो उदयपुर से बहुत दूर था लेकिन अग्रवाल साहब ने फैसला किया था कि मैं मेडिकल कॉलेज जो बनाऊंगा वो मेडिकल कॉलेज के अंदर हर गरीब से गरीब व्यक्ति का भी एक बेहतर इलाज हो सके और इसी लक्ष्य के साथ आज ये हॉस्पिटल जहां पर 10 लाख से ज्यादा आउटडोर पेशेंट हैं और नब्बे हजार से लेकर बड़ी संख्या के अंदर इंडोर पेशेंट हैं सुपर स्पेशलिस्ट सेवाएं हैं और कोशिश की है कि हर बीमारी का इलाज यहां पर हो सके और इसी लक्ष्य से आज 1500 बेड का ये हॉस्पिटल और इसमें पढ़ने वाले वे विद्यार्थी जिनकी सेवा समर्पण इस हॉस्पिटल के पुनित कार्य में लगी हुई है विद्यार्थी साथियों आप सब आज का दिन आपके लिए बड़ा बहुत महत्वपूर्ण दिन है आपने बड़ा कंपटीशन देकर एक डॉक्टर के प्रोफेशन के रूप में अपने जीवन के लक्ष्य को तय किया और उसके लिए आपने एंट्रेंस एग्जाम के लिए कठिन परीक्षा का कंपटीशन दिया और आज एक जीवन के एक पहले दौर के रूप में क्योंकि मेडिकल स्टूडेंट को तो पूरे जिंदगी भर पढ़ना पड़ता है मेरी पत्नी भी डॉक्टर है मैं जानता हूं कि आदमी 18, 20 साल की उम्र में मेडिकल कॉलेज में आता है पीजी पीजी के बाद एमसीएच सुपर स्पेस सेवाएं करते करते उसकी जिंदगी के जो अच्छे दिन होते हैं वो सारे मेडिकल किस साइंस में चले जाते हैं लेकिन उसके बाद भी उसका ज्ञान अनुभव अधूरा रहता है क्योंकि मेडिकल साइंस में पढ़ने वाले विद्यार्थियों को पूरी जिंदगी भर अध्ययन अध्यापन रिसर्च करना पड़ता है गुलेर साहब यहां बैठे हैं आप एम्स में चले जाएं आप देखेंगे कि किस तरीके से वहां पर जिनकी 25 30 30 साल सेवाएं हो गई वह पेशेंट को देखते हैं फिर पढ़ाने का काम करते हैं फिर रिसर्च का काम करते हैं और फिर भी जब बातचीत होती है तो लगता है कि अभी और अधूरा ज्ञान है और यही भारत की संस्कृति है कि हमने अपने ज्ञान को हमेशा अधूरा समझा है अच्छे सफल व्यक्ति की जीवन की कहानी यही है कि वह निरंतर छात्र रहे निरंतर सीखता रहे अनुभव प्राप्त करता रहे 
चाहे कोई सा भी प्रोफेशन हो चाहे कोई सा भी कार्य हो हर कार्य संस्कृति के अंदर अगर व्यक्ति ने अपने ज्ञान को अधूरा समझा और ज्ञान प्राप्त करने की आकांक्षाएं उसके मन में रही तो सफलता उसको निश्चित रूप से मिलती रहेगी और यही आपके जीवन में है कि आपने कड़ी मेहनत कर कर अभी मेडिकल का प्रथम दौर प्राप्त किया है आपके माता पिता का समर्पण आपके पढ़ाने वाले डीन यूनिवर्सिटी प्रोफेसर का समर्पण कितने लोगों का जीवन आपकी इस आकांक्षाओं को पूरा करने में लगा है अब आपने जो प्रोफेशन पर मैं अध्ययन किया है उसके लिए आपको समाज के लिए समर्पित होकर काम करने की आवश्यकता है क्योंकि चिकित्सा क्षेत्र एक ऐसा क्षेत्र है चाहे उसमें एमबीबीएस करने वाला डॉक्टर हो चाहे डेंटल हो चाहे फिजियोथेरेपी हो चाहे नर्सिंग स्टाफ हो फार्मेसी हो हर मेडिकल का प्रोफेशन जीवन भर लोगों की सेवा और समर्पण के लिए समर्पित रहता है और एक अच्छा विद्यार्थी वही होता है जो हमारे जीवन की कार्य संस्कृति को हमारे जीवन के लक्ष्य को देश और समाज के लिए समर्पित कर दे और ये समर्पण ये सेवा का भाव भारतीय संस्कृति का एक महत्वपूर्ण हिस्सा है और इसी कारण दुनिया में हमारा नौजवान विद्यार्थियों ने एक अलग पहचान अपनी बनाई है और आज मैं सुबह अखबार में पढ़ रहा था कि लोगों को लगता था किसी समय की जनसंख्या अभिशाप है लेकिन आज भारत की ताकत हमारे नौजवान हैं आज हमारे भारत की ताकत हमारे बौद्धिक क्षमता से परिपूर्ण वो नौजवान हैं जो आने वाले समय के अंदर विश्व में नेतृत्व करेंगे और ये सामर्थ्य और ताकत भारत की बनी है तो हमारे नौजवानों के कारण और ये सामर्थ्य दुनिया आज भारत की ओर देख रहा है मैं अभी मंगोलिया की यात्रा पर गया था मंगोलिया देश एक तरफ चाइना एक तरफ रसिया है जब वहां प्रधानमंत्री जी से मेरी बात हो रही थी तो वहां के प्रधानमंत्री ने कहा कि मैंने सबसे पहले वैक्सीनेशन भारत का लगाया और आम जनता के सामने टीवी चैनल के सामने दो विकसित देशों के बीच में उस देश के अंदर भी मेडिकल प्रोफेशनर में भारत की प्रतिष्ठा है डॉक्टर गुलेरिया जी से मेरा बड़ा निकट का संपर्क रहता था क्योंकि वे कोविड के एक्सपर्ट थे और जैसा उन्होंने कहा कि कभी भी किसी भी समय जब कोविड की वैश्विक महामारी भयंकर थी किसी समय उनको कॉल करें टेलीफोन करें कभी भी पार्लियामेंट में आवश्यक हो जो बुलाए जिस सहजता के साथ जो उन्होंने कहा कि मानवीय संवेदना डॉक्टर के जीवन में हमेशा होनी चाहिए डॉक्टर प्रोफेशन केवल इलाज तक सीमित नहीं है डॉक्टर का प्रोफेशन उसकी जिंदगी के साथ जुड़ता उसकी मानवीय संवेदना के साथ और जितना उसकी मानवीय संवेदना के साथ उसके जीवन के हिस्से के साथ चिकित्सा क्षेत्र का व्यक्ति जुड़ता है उतना ही बेहतरीन इलाज भी करता है और उसके जीवन में खुशी भी लाते हैं डॉक्टर गुलेरिया जी इसी तरीके से हैं मैंने कभी भी किसी भी समय देर रात को टेलीफोन किया 
पोल उठाना जवाब देना और जो कुछ भी उनकी जानकारी है अनुभव है उनको लोगों के बीच में शेयर करना ये एक डॉक्टर प्रोफेशन का एक मानवीय हिस्सा होना चाहिए और यही आपके इस जीवन का हिस्सा बनना चाहिए अगर आपने ये मानवीय संवेदना का हिस्सा समझ लिया जो व्यक्ति आपके पास आता है वो ये मानकर चलता है कि आप उसके जीवन में स्वस्थ रखेंगे और इसीलिए गीतांजलि ने तो लिखा है स्वास्थ्य ही सुख है और यही मन में रखें कि आपके पास जो भी पेशेंट आया है मरीज आया है वो मानकर चलता है कि डॉक्टर मुझे नई जिंदगी देगा और आपके जीवन का जो भी अनुभव है ज्ञान है रिसर्च है इनोवेशन है जो भी है आप भी प्रयास करते हैं कि जो कुछ भी आपने जीवन में सीखा है उसके माध्यम से उसको सुखी करें स्वस्थ करके भेजें ये हर डॉक्टर की मानवीय स्थिति होती है और इसीलिए सीखना अनुभव करना नए रिसर्च करना नए नए बदलते वैज्ञानिक परिस्थितियों को विज्ञान टेक्नोलॉजी के अंदर सीखना क्योंकि डॉक्टर प्रोफेशन केवल आज बदलते परिपेक्ष में जो टेक्नोलॉजी है उस टेक्नोलॉजी को भी आप सीखना पड़ेगा इसीलिए डॉक्टर के साथ आर्टिफिशियल इंटेलिजेंसी आर्टिफिशियल टेक्नोलॉजी रोबोट कई सारी थ्योरियां बदल गई दुनिया के अंदर क्योंकि जितना जल्दी मेडिकल साइंस में परिवर्तन हो रहा है नए नए जितना रिसर्च हो रहा है आने वाले समय के अंदर उस बदलते विज्ञान और टेक्नोलॉजी के अंदर हमें भी बदलना पड़ेगा और मुझे खुशी है भारत के चिकित्सक दुनिया में जहां भी काम करते हैं उनकी एक प्रतिष्ठा है विकसित देश के अंदर भी वहां के सुपर स्पेशली सबसे हॉस्पिटल में भी होगा तो भारत का डॉक्टर होगा और इसीलिए हमें गर्व है कि हम मेडिकल साइंस की बदलती टेक्नोलॉजी के अंदर हम अपने आप को बदलने के लिए तेजी से काम कर रहे हैं हमारे प्रधानमंत्री जी जो हमेशा हमारी युवा मानव संसाधन को दुनिया की सबसे बड़ी ताकत मानते हैं और उन्होंने साबित करके दुनिया में बता दिया है कि आने वाले समय में हमारे नौजवानों की बौद्धिक क्षमता इनोवेशन रिसर्च नया चिंतन भौतिक संसाधनों की कमी हो सकती है लेकिन भारत के नौजवानों की सामर्थ्य शक्ति आने वाले बदलते परिदर्श के अंदर नेतृत्व करेगी और उस वैश्विक चुनौती और आपदा संकट के समय भारत का मानव संसाधन सबसे महत्वपूर्ण हिस्सा होगा उन चुनौतियों से निपटने के लिए और इसीलिए आप जब यहां से निकले क्योंकि आपको भी और अध्ययन करना है नए रिसर्च करने मुझे आशा है आप जिस मन विचार से इस प्रोफेशन में आए हैं आने वाले समय के अंदर समाज के अंतिम व्यक्ति के जीवन को किस तरीके से स्वस्थ रख पाएंगे यह आपका संकल्प होना चाहिए या आपका लक्ष्य होना चाहिए और मुझे आशा है कि जिस मानवीय संवेदना के साथ भारत का नौजवान काम करता है सामूहिकता के साथ काम करता है आने वाले समय के अंदर मेडिकल साइंसेस के अंदर परिवर्तन के इस दौर में भी हम साथ होंगे लेकिन आने वाले समय में भविष्य में हम देश के अंदर गांव के अंतिम छोर पर बैठे व्यक्ति को भी बेहतरीन स्वास्थ्य सुविधा दे पाएंगे और उसको स्वास्थ्य संबंधी जानकारी दे पाएंगे 
और बीमारी को रोकने के लिए जो नए रिसर्च हो रहे हैं नए अनुसंधान हो रहे हैं उसकी जानकारी दे पाएंगे ताकि हमारा काम होने वाली बीमारी को रोकना यह सबसे महत्वपूर्ण काम हमारे जीवन का हिस्सा होना चाहिए और जीवन शैली के परिवर्तन करने के लिए भारत आज दुनिया में नेतृत्व कर रहा है हम मेडिकल साइंस हो चाहे योग हो चाहे प्राकृतिक चिकित्सा हो हर स्वास्थ्य के क्षेत्र के अंदर भारत बदलते परिपेक्ष के अंदर अपने आप को वैश्विक नेतृत्व की भूमिका के अंदर देख रहा है और आप उसके ध्वजवाक हो आप उसके प्रणेता हो मुझे आशा है गीतांजलि मेडिकल कॉलेज से आज जब आप निकलेंगे तो मानवीय संवेदना के साथ समर्पण से सेवा से इस समाज के अंदर अपने आप को समर्पित करेंगे आप सबको बहुत बहुत शुभकामनाएं बहुत बहुत बधाई से निश्चिंत ही हमारे भीतर एक नवीन ऊर्जा का संचार हुआ है आपकी आशीर्व वचन हेतु हम सब आभारी हैं कॉन्वोकेशन इज नॉट लेस देन अचीवमेंट्स एंड सक्सेस ऑफ अफेयर्स हु हैव वर्क हार्ड टू रीच देयर गोल्स एंड मेक अ डिफरेंस इन देयर ओन लाइफ्स एंड इन द लाइफ्स ऑफ अदर्स एंड टू मेक इट अ ग्रैंड सेलिब्रेशन वी वर ऑनर्ड बाय द प्रेजेंस एंड टाइम ऑफ आवर चीफ गेस्ट एंड गेस्ट ऑफ ऑनर सर आप दोनों की मौजूदगी ने इस दीक्षांत समारोह को और भी भव्य और महान दी है थैंक यू सो मच मे आई नाउ रिक्वेस्ट ऑनरेबल चांसलर श्री जे पी अग्रवाल जी टू प्लीज कम फॉरवर्ड एंड फेलिसिटेट आर चीफ गेस्ट श्री ओम बिरला जी विद टोकन ऑफ ग्रेटिट्यूड सर हमारी इस कृतज्ञता को इस भेंट के रूप में स्वीकार करें श्री ओम बिरला जी Thank you. I also request our honourable Vice Chancellor, Dr. F. S. Mehta, to please felicitate our guest of honour, Padam Shri, Dr. Randeep Guleria, with a token of gratitude. I request the dignitaries to please keep standing as I call upon the academic council and board of management members on the stage for a common picture. Ah, please sit down. Sit down. board of management uh, members on the right side of the stage Thank you so much.
Mrs. Geeta Agarwal, Mrs. Tanika Agarwal, Mrs. Shruti Agarwal is joining us for the picture. The board, the board of management members. Thank you so much for this awesome clip. Let's have a huge round of applause as we come towards the conclusion of the convocation ceremony. And let the noise of the clap be also huge. Together, let's clap and congratulate each other, each person in the university. Coming towards the conclusion of this grand convocation ceremony, I request our registrar, Gitanjali University, Shri Mayu Rawal to take over the podium for a word of thanks. Thank you, Dr. Odish. I stand before you with a deep sense of honor, privilege, humility to express my heartfelt gratitude. On behalf of the Gitanjali University, a warm and graceful morning to our most valued honorable chief guest, Sri Om Bilaji, and honorable guest of honor, Padmashri Dr. Indim Puriria, sir, Board of Management and Academic Council, teachers, parents, dear friends. It's my privilege and honor to propose a word of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who work really hard to make this day a great one. On behalf of the Gitanjali University, I sincerely thank you, Honorable Chief Guest Sri Om Bilaji, to grace our occasion. Your presence and words of wisdom have inspired us and the students, and also will guide us in our future events. Thank you for enlightening our minds, showing us new path. I sincerely thank you, our guest of honor, Padmashri Dr. Indi Puliria, sir, for gracing today's event. Your presence has made the convocation truly memorable. I wish to convey my special thanks and regards to our respected Honorable Chancellor, sir, Vice Chancellor, sir, Honorable Vice Chairman, sir, Honorable Executive Director, sir, and their constant support and guidance. Your generosity and kindness have been instrumental in making this event possible. Thanks to all the dignitaries for gracing us with your presence and making this event a grand success. I am also grateful to the Board of Management, Academic Council, Heads of the Department, Office Bearers and my colleagues for their remarkable presence, constant motivation and wholehearted support for making this program successful.